Hey, what's up coders? Welcome to One Little Coder. In this ChatGPT API tutorial, we are going to learn how to integrate ChatGPT API with Google Slides. So if you want to make a slide and if you want AI written content, you don't have to leave your Google Slide. Rather, you can stay within the Google Slide and then create AI generated content within your Google Slide if you're making presentation. In this series, we have already covered Google Docs and Google Excel, like Google Spreadsheet, I'm sorry. You can definitely check that out. And today we're going to learn how to do the same for Google Slides so that we complete this triology. So first I would like to show you a quick demo. Then we are going to go through the code walkthrough. At the end of this video, we will also do a new menu item where we'll completely, um, for example, right now you can see that I've got one item here, but we will completely do a new item so that you learn how to add it yourself. You want to change something. The first thing is, let's say I have a slide and I'm going to, I'm going to simply write something. Um, what do I have to write? Data science versus data engineering. And after this, I'm going to go, maybe I'll keep it slightly on the top because it's going to insert the bottom, click ChatGPT and then click generate prompt. And then once I click generate prompt, it is going to take some time because it's going to collect this text, send it to OpenAI, get it back. And then here it is. So all I have to do is a little bit of formatting here and there, and then move it down. And then we delete the existing one. That's it. We have AI generated content right within our Google slide. And let's learn how to do this. As usual, if you have been seeing the other series, Google Docs and Google Spreadsheet, you know that the first thing that you need to do is you need to have OpenAI API token. I've already extensively covered it in the previous video, so kindly check it out. So assuming that you have OpenAI API token or API key, first go click extensions and click app script. Once you click app script, you will get to this particular screen. This entire JavaScript code will be linked in the YouTube description from my GitHub repository. So you can directly copy paste from that. So you don't have to be worried about it. So now let me explain what this code contains. So the first thing is we are going to define the API key and also we're going to define the chat GPT model. Next, we are going to create a new menu item called chat GPT. That is exactly this menu item that you see here and menu first menu and then you're going to create an item within that menu that is generate prompt so you click this menu you get to see generate prompt and then you're going to do that's that's basically what you have within the slide after that is where the actual thing starts where you're going to first look for the active presentation within that you're going to find what we have selected so how does chat gpt know on which topic you want to write something so whatever you have selected using the mouse that is going to be the that is the text that is going to be used to create or to give it to chat gpt and generate ai written content so that's something that to keep in mind so presentation get the presentation get the selected text and then get the slide the slide in itself then use the selected text i, I don't think the slide is used here anywhere yeah I use the slide to insert finally cool. So then get the slide. Okay. So presentation selected text, get the slide. Once you have the slide, then you need to create a prompt. So how do you create a prompt? In this case, the prompt here goes like this, generate three points on whatever the selected text is. So if my selected text says Elon Musk, then I generate three points on Elon Musk. If my selected text goes like this, open a chat GPT. Then my prompt goes like this, generate three points on open a chat GPT. So that's how this thing works. Then set the temperature, play with the maximum tokens. Like I've uh, said previously, chat GPT's scope, their context is more than 4,000 tokens, but I'm still sticking with 2,000 tokens. Then you have to create the request body. So anytime you have an API, you have to send the request and I get a response back. So here we are composing the request that has to be gone. So while we are composing the request, there are two things. One is the request body in itself. Second one is the request option. So request body will contain all the essential information. Request options will say what type of request it is, what is the authentication, what those kind of information. So now what is in the request body? We have got the model, we have got the messages, we have got the temperature and we have got max tokens. So the prompt that we created is now part of the messages, which, which looks like this and then send to chat GPT. And then we have got the request options where we are saying that this is a post method. And then we are, uh, we have the authentication here and the entire thing, which we created as request body is put inside here. Now, 
this is the endpoint where OpenAI API is present. We're going to collect the response, get the response. After you get the response, now take that response and then parse it as JSON. Go to the exact place where you have got the content, like the response content, which is inside choices, the first element, message, and content. And get that. And if you want, if you want, you know, for logging, you can keep it logging, otherwise, you can comment it. Finally, take that entire text insert into a new text box. So whenever you go here, like for example, and then go to insert and insert a new text box, whatever gets inserted, that is exactly what we are doing there. So this entire thing, what we just did, go here, click this, click this, click this, is what we are automatically doing there using the text that ChatGPT returned us. So we have a text that is here. That text is now sent to ChatGPT to create more text that text is now inserted as a text box and that's why you saw like a small text box got created now let me show you the workflow once again so that you can understand the code so i'm going to insert new text new slide i'm going to make it slightly above and then i'm going to say let's say data engineering is the best and i'm going to say generate prompt now it's going to create a new text box inside this slide with the three points that chat GPT returned. So I'm going to delete the existing one, move this and slide it down. That's it. The old one you don't need and oops, old one you don't need. And you have got the three points right now, as you can see, I'm not formatting. I'm not, I'm not splitting into multiple slides. I'm not doing anything. I'm doing the bare minimum basic because I wanted to get the video out to you so that you can customize it as much as you want. If you know a little bit of app script, even using Google um, documents, this documents that you have got, you can play with the documents and then you can play with a lot of options. But for now, this does the best. Now I'm going to show you how we can add a new menu item and then add a different prompt so that you know what to change, where to change. If you get the code for the first time, like my code, the first thing that you need to change is you need to change the API key. Please never share your API key with anybody. I'm going to revoke this API key after this is done. So you'll not be able to use this API key even if you do screen capture, but never share your API key. That's the first thing. Next, I want to create a new menu item. So go to this line number eight, create a new menu item. I'm going to call this menu item generate tweets and I'm going to call this generate tweets. Every menu item has to be linked with the function. Otherwise the menu item is not going to work. So that's why you can see this menu item is linked with this function. This menu item is this linked with this function. At this point we can save and run, but nothing will happen when we click the menu item because it will say this function does not exist now. So now let's create this function to make it easier. We're going to literally copy this function, paste it just above this. And then we are going to go say ge generate tweets. So this one is basically this. Okay. So this one, is this so we have added a new menu item and then we are calling we are asking it to call the function generate tweets and that function is this now inside this the only change i'm going to make is i'm going to change the prompt so instead of generate three points i'm going to say generate three tweets on this so chat gpt knows when you ask it to generate tweets it knows that it has to generate three tweets now everything else is going to stay the same if you want like instead of text box if you want like a let's say shape also you can insert you can do all those inserting thing here based on whatever you want like for example in a shape you want like a text you can do that here for now i'm going to stick to the same insert a text box with the text and then save the project once i save the project you have to run it after you run it go back to your presentation just make sure that this executes for fine after that go back to your presentation and click a new slide if you if you want new slide and then just what do i want to do i want to say let's say data engineering is the best the same thing that we just gave and i'm going to probably even delete it i don't need this click this chat gpt generate tweets so now at the end of this this is going to insert a text box here in this particular slide with whatever we just asked for which is three tweets three tweets so you've got three tweets data engineering is the backbone of any successful data driven organization you've got hashtags you've got tweets this is exactly what we set out to do at the start of this video where we have successfully integrated chat gpt with google slide 
Also, we have learned how to customize this code if you want to add a new menu item. So I hope this video was helpful to you in learning how to integrate ChatGPT within Google Slide to create AI generated content within your Google Slide. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I will link this code in the YouTube description. I mean in GitHub and then YouTube description. You can directly copy paste and then start working on it. Any questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, see you in the next video. Peace.